Hello friends, you are watching SQL and PL SQL interview question answer video series. Today I am back with another frequently asked question, how many types of view available in Oracle. In this video we are going to cover simple view, complex view, read only view, force view, inline view. But before watching this video I will recommend it you, please watch my pre-uploaded video what is view so that you get basic idea about views. So without wasting your time let's begin with simple view. What is simple view? Simple view must be created on single table only. And remember it should not contain distinct operator, aggregate function, set operator, group by or having clause, start with or connect by clause, prosciutto column like row number. If you create view on single table without these functions and keywords you can perform the email operation on view. In other words, using simple view, you can perform the email operation on best tables. Now complex view. Complex view can be created on single table or multiple tables. It can be contained group by, order by, connect by, start with subquery, set operators, distinct keywords, aggregate functions, prosciutto columns. If you want to create complex view on single table, you can use any keyword of this. If you want to create complex view on multiple table, you can use joins between two table or more than two tables. Remember, on complex view, you cannot perform the ML operations like insert, update, delete. If you still want to perform the ML operation on your complex view, you can use instant of trigger. Using instant of trigger, you can perform the ML operation on complex view. Now read only view. First we try to understand why we need to create read only view. As we know we can perform the email operation on simple view and using instead of trigger we can also perform the email operation on complex view. But if you want user cannot perform the email operation on your view. So you can use read only view. Using read only view you can prevent your view from the email operations. Users can only select and distinct statement against read-only view. Creation of read-only view is very simple. You only need to write with read-only keyword after the statement of view. Now force view. Using force view you can create view without best table. It means you can create view on best table which will be created in future. Creation of force view is very simple. You only need to specify force keyword after the create keyword and before the view keyword. Force keyword specify view can be created even best table does not exist in database. Now inline view. Inline view is a completely different compared to creation of view. So let's try to understand carefully what is inline view. Inline view is a subquery which can be placed after from clause. The result of subquery act as a data source. It will work same as a table name for main query. Inline view is commonly used for perform top end analysis. Inline view also used for simplify complex query by removing joins operations and considering several separate queries into a single query. Remember inline view is not a schema object. Writing inline view is very simple. You can place your subquery after from clause. This subquery is in clause in parenthesis. You can also provide alias name to subquery. You can use group by clause, order by clause or even inline view itself in inline view. I hope friend after watching this video you get clear idea about simple view, complex view, read only view, force view and inline view. We will discuss about materialized view in our upcoming video. So please stay tuned with this channel. If you still not subscribe, please subscribe now. If you like this video, please click on thumbs up button and share your valuable feedback in comments box. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your social media groups. If you want, I will create new videos for you. Please write down your question in comments box. I will create new videos for you and I will also display your name before beginning of video. So stay tuned with me and thank you for watching this video.